you know sometimes you need to put uh, your put an implement on and that it's real hard to go on that pto shaft uh that happens usually it's not the fault of the shaft as much as it is the fault of the uh, of the implements shaft gets real rusty in there because you you know uh, an implement like a tiller or something like that you may use once a year twice a year and you sit sits out in the pasture the rest of the time and it gets rained on whatever uh it will get rusty so let me take you out in the light it's kind of dark so let me show you what i do to make to make it easier to put implements on your tractor on your pto shaft well i thought the light was going to be a little better in here what i do is take a, a flat file little small this is a triangle file uh, but just something pretty small and get in those receiver the shaft is called a splined shaft and these are I guess receiver splines I don't know what you really call them and I just file out the middle of them get out any rust any junk and there's I guess eight or nine of them I forget how many are in a spline shaft but just go in there and and file those out. But this will help a lot. Next time, next time I go to put this on the tractor to slide this in the spline shaft. It will, uh, and I know I'm not supposed to be filing backwards. I'm really, most of my pressure's on the forward stroke. Um, the, uh, it'll, it should go on there a lot better. This particular shaft is, is this particular implement is, uh, is pretty hard to put on there. The only thing harder I have is my, is my um, uh, post hole digger. And guy borrowed it the other day. We had to beat it on there, and he's probably going to have to beat it off when he brings it back. But just push it, file it out. So I've got it out in the light now, and uh, you can see how rusty it does get up in there. Now, also, you can see that I uh, scraped it off pretty good. And like I say, you'll want to cut, maybe cut those. Now you want to be careful of this. This is going to be your, your little pin that holds it in there. You don't want to necessarily, you don't want to file that down, but uh, file the grooves, file the upraised parts, the bottom, you know, the tops and the bottoms, but take the tops, uh, just, just do a little filing. You don't have to go crazy with it. Uh, and it will slide on there good and easy. So we just make sure we've got, uh, brought some grease down. Make sure we've got some grease in it. You know, one reason the, the side on the tractor, the male end of the tractor, doesn't need grease very often is the fact that if everything, if all your female ends on your implements have grease on them, then that, uh, that male gets greased every time you put an implement on. So grease it up good. That will protect it from rust and would also make the ease of putting your implements on a lot better mo gooder mo better all right let's put it on okay push, gotta push that button of course and just man it has never it has never gone on that smooth this used to be pretty doggone hard to do Get it on there till it till that button catches. That is slick. I like it. Very good. Now while you got the grease out, make sure you grease that shaft good. That goes into the other half of the PTO shaft. And that will make your life a lot easier too. Again, keeps it from rusting. And certainly uh, makes it a lot easier to go in. So there it is, installed on the tractor. Went on, went on that shaft real easy. I just love that. I could use a little more grease on this shaft up in here 
you know, put some grease while this is out of there, put some grease on the lip of this shaft. And then as you push that in there, it will grease it down in there. But uh, a little more grease on that shaft. I know I need that and I'll do that uh, when I get ready to store it uh, after I use it. Um, I usually take this half off and just lay it on top of the tiller and uh, and might want to make sure it's greased also real good because it'll be exposed to the weather. Anyway, that's how to do it. If you're having trouble putting your implements on on the PTO shaft, you're having, having trouble putting them on, it could very well be your splines are boogered up a little bit. Don't be afraid to take a file to it. Just gently take the rust off, take any burrs off, anything that might be causing problems, and then make sure it's greased up good. I bet you have success then. I bet you it goes on good. All right. I think we are gone.